Welcome. Uh, we're, we're delighted to be here today uh, to recognize the, uh, the hard work of many, many people who have contributed to uh, making this um, a beautiful street that we're on and the streets that are all over the city uh, to be attractive again and drivable again. I, I, uh, I, I, I know that uh, my commission colleagues join me in uh, saying that this is a, this is a beautiful thing. A Isn't it a beautiful yeah. thing? Uh, the, we may be the only ones in the city that really enjoy and appreciate the uh, orange barrels. Uh, I've got them on my street right now. Gay Street is totally torn up, and I've got this, the dust and all the things that come along with it, and I just love it anyway. So first, I want to give thanks today. I want to give thanks first to the uh, volunteer members of the Sustainable uh, Streets Task Force, who spent a year and a half reviewing the, uh, the needs, coming up with recommendations, uh, that uh, will bring our streets back to 70% in good state of repair uh, in 15 years. This doesn't happen overnight. Uh, it, it takes time, and, and the, the, uh, the tremendous effort on the part of these uh, volunteers uh, to bring us to this point, I think, is significant. Would, would all the members of the, uh, of the Streets Task Force, uh, Sustainable Streets Task Force, please raise a hand so we can see who you are and, and thank you for your great work. And secondly, I want to uh, recognize my colleagues on the Grand Rapids uh, City Commission. Uh, we are in the uh, third ward here. We're in the first ward. Mm -hmm. That's third over there, right across the street. Mm -hmm. Where's the first ward commissioners? I'm here representing. Okay, good, good. Uh, Commissioner Lanier from the, uh, from the third ward, which is a block away. Uh, and Commissioner Kelly from the second ward, which is more than a block away. Uh, but we're delighted to have you both here. Uh, this, uh, this process, of course, involves uh, um, uh, decision after decision on the part of the Grand Rapids City Commission, and, uh, and, it, and there's, a, there's a, uh, a learning process that we go through. Uh, these commissioners have been extraordinary in their work, and I, and I want uh, you all to join me in thanking them. <laughs> now, last but certainly not least, uh, certainly not least, uh, I want to thank the citizens uh, of Grand Rapids who voted to continue our, con our uh, temporary income tax uh, increase for another 15 years uh, in order to bring these recommendations to, to fruition. Um, I, I can't, uh, there's no way to overstate the importance of, of that work and that, and that commitment on the part of citizens. Uh, to tax ourselves uh, in order to make sure that uh, our municipal infrastructure remains uh, strong and vital uh, for the generations that will follow us. Uh, uh, we appreciate the confidence that, that you, the citizens of Grand Rapids, have shown in our ability to meet this issue head on and to provide the kind of streets that we need to rebuild our neighborhoods and our business districts. You've made it possible you've made it possible for this work to begin. And today we're here to re reopen the very first street completed toward meeting our vision, uh, the street that we're standing on here, which is uh, vital streets uh, are accessible and work to, uh, and, and they work for everyone, not only for cars, but for bicycles, for walking, for driving, for uh, any mode of transportation, using a wheelchair uh, to, get, uh, to get around. So. Uh, um, we're going to cut a ribbon, but I think maybe I would prefer uh, Eric DeLong that you uh, uh, make some comments before we before we do that. If that's all right. So Eric DeLong, uh, our deputy city manager, has been the uh, the point person, the spearhead uh, of the, for the city's effort. He's worked closely with the Sustainable Streets Task Force, and has also worked with our state legislators, uh, keeping the need for additional investments in streets in front of the legislative body. Uh, and keeping them uh, moving forward. No small, no small piece of work. So, uh, Eric DeLong, thank you. I'll turn the podium over to you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, uh, members of the City Commission, for your support and for your encouragement as we've worked through this. I also want to thank the task force members who uh, spent um, a, lot, a lot of time with us. Um, and uh, there was a lot of learning that went on uh, mainly by staff. We had a very good group of uh, task force members who uh, thoroughly analyzed this, uh, made, a, made a great recommendation, and uh, helped us get to this point today. So we, and we would not have been here without the work of all the task force members who are assembled here today. 
And I expect the same kind of learning, co-learning environment with our Vital Streets Oversight Commission and their members of that here today as well, who will carry on the work with the Sustainable Streets Task Force and make sure that we keep all the promises that we made as we were developing this program. The, um, this work wouldn't happen without the decision to invest that the mayor referenced, and we've started that investment already. City Commission has awarded two contracts uh, for road and milling and resurfacing, and that work is underway, and this is the, the first project completed of the first contract awarded. We have a third contract that will be on the City Commission agenda next uh, Tuesday, and when that all those contracts are awarded, uh, we'll be up to um, uh, the three contracts, which will include about 50 street segments throughout the city. So we're, and, and this work was done in a way that uh, we're actually a year ahead of schedule because City Commission made the, the really smart decision to move forward and do an advanced investment so we could get started this year before snow flies again uh, and have better streets for the next winter. So um, we're getting a head start. It's going to be, uh, it's really good that we're getting started early. Um, the confidence that was expressed by our, vote, our voters um, this uh, May was incredible and uh, rewarding and fulfilling, uh, and we take that commitment very seriously. And so it's going to be the role of the uh, Vital Streets Oversight Commission to help ensure that that voice is brought forward as we, as we implement this program over time and make the investments that we need. And that's one of the promises of the investment guidelines, the Vital Street and Sidewalk Investment Guidelines, that will be carried forward as we move forward. This street, the way we've done it, is another one of the promises where uh, we've used uh, an asset management approach here to save this street before it became horrible. Uh, now look at it, it's beautiful. This street will last uh, for years and years and years because of the way we've, we've made this investment. This wouldn't be possible without um, the work of the citizens groups that we mentioned but also a devoted group of city staff. Um, city staff, why don't you all raise your hands that are here who helped with the Oversight Commission and the Sustainable Streets Task Force. Um, they provided the data, uh, the information that the task force requested, and they're doing the work of implementation. And uh, Mark DeClerc, our city engineer, is here um, and is a, a part of helping move this process forward. The person who is central to it is Rick DeVries. Where's Rick? Rick, come up here so people see the face of this. Can't hide behind the sign anymore, man. So um, Rick is um, taking a leadership role in implementing our vital streets and sidewalks work and is working with uh, staff to coordinate investments and is, um, do it, has done a great job so far of getting out of the gate uh, in, a, in a really big hurry. So I want to thank you, Rick, for your work in keeping this together and uh, helping us fulfill these promises and getting started early. And uh, you've got 15 more years of work to do <laughs> so, uh, before we're done. So uh, I think that's enough. Right. Uh, I'm ready to uh, have people cut a ribbon. And uh, Mayor, it looks like we have two pairs of shears We here. do. So let me get a uh, representative of the um, uh, Sustainable Streets Task Force. How about my new best friend, Mary Milanowski, uh, to come forward to represent the... Uh, come on, Mary. Come on up. Uh, city commissioners, uh, uh, let me... Uh, uh, you you help Mary because uh, she, I think she's a little dangerous with those right, scissors. So uh, uh, let me get uh, some uh, some staff up here. Uh, Eric and uh, Rick, come on forward, and everybody else gather around. Ready? We got another pair of scissors down there. Good. All right, we're looking up and smiling. We're counting to three. One, two, three. Buckley Street is open. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs>